Thanks, Brian Crandall continues our Team 10 coverage now from Boston, having recently sat down with Rhode Island survivor Heather Abbott. Brian? And Jean, she's been a prominent figure in the coverage of the bombing uh, and Rhode Island's connection to the tragedy here last year. And this morning, Heather Abbott was on the Today Show talking to Natalie Morales about her emotions heading into today. It's, a, it's not an easy day. Um, it's, I think, more difficult than I anticipated. Um, with, you know, so much, um, so many reminders and um, knowing that I'll see all the other survivors and the victims' families today. And America first got to know Heather shortly after the bombings and from the start, including when I first met her at the rehab hospital just a couple weeks later, she seemed to be always smiling, still is, though when I recently talked to her at a Newport home, she admitted the recovery's been tough at times. I look at the tribute event and this year's marathon to me as uh, an event that will bring some sort of closure for me. I think, and a new memory of the marathon. Last year's marathon changed Heather Abbott's life. I think about it every day, um, you know, especially every day when I get out of bed and see that my leg's not there. I first met Heather two and a half weeks after the marathon. She was in a rehab hospital after being confronted in the days after the bombings with a decision whether to have her damaged leg amputated. I really don't think there was a choice. Um, the, this, the way that my life would be as it was described to me, there was no choice to me. I, I, there's no way I wanted to live my life in a wheelchair, um, having constant surgeries and being in pain. Um, you know, I barely had to miss a beat, so I, I, I know I made the right choice. A choice that has brought with it a variety of new prosthetic legs. That's the high heel one? This is the high heel one with the painted toes. <laughs> <laughs> and this is the running one. Heather says she can do most things she could before. And while she seems to make it look easy, Heather says sometimes it's not. But I don't think I realized how hard it can also be. Um, so, the, yeah, there's, there's times when it's, it's tough. <laughs> right, where you lose your balance or? You lose your balance, you just can't keep up with everybody else. I think about it because it can still be uncomfortable at times. Um, I still struggle with my right leg bearing most of my weight a lot. Um, and there are just certain things I have to um, do differently. But different doesn't get her down. I think if someone had told me this was going to happen to me, I would have thought I wouldn't be able to handle it. And I think I've surprised myself. I am able to accept what I can't change. And on this Marathon Monday, she will not change her routine and will go back to the place she was last year when the bombs went off. I really hate to think that what happened to me uh, results in my not being able to do anything. You know, even if. I can't run as fast as I used to. I can still run. And even if I wobble around in my high heels a little, I still wear them. Um, and I am going to go to the marathon and spend the day there with my friends because that's something I always do, and I don't want it to stop me. All right, one change, though, she does plan to her marathon routine. She expects to run the last half mile of the marathon next Monday. I'm Brian Crandall, NBC 10 News, live in Boston.